I'm gonna take my old oak buffet and using chalk paint, wax, and some new hardware, we're gonna turn it into this. So stay tuned, I'm gonna grab my supplies. First thing we're going to do with this is do a light sand on it. This is a solid oak piece and you can see there's a bit of a shine on top of the finish and I want to make sure that we do our very best to make the paint stick. Now I'm using bare chalk paint which I've never used before. The color is called Rare Earth and it is kind of a gray and the nice thing about this stuff is it is tintable just like regular paint. Now I'm sure if you came in with a color that you'd like maybe they could make that but they do have a bunch of different chalk paint colors to choose from and I wanted something that was going to go with my new house and a lot of my gray and blue furniture. So I'm going to mix this up really well and it seems to be very fluid. It's not runny but it's not real thick like some other chalk paints that I've used in the past. I'm gonna use a small container to pour my paint in and I'm going to use a brush for some of this and I'm also going to use a small roller with a nice smooth uh, brush on it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is all of the edges and just get into all those little nooks and crannies. Um, this does have uh, a lot of nice edge trim on it, and I want to make sure that I get it covered well. And as long as I've got it in the small spaces, I'm just going to go ahead and use my brush. This is just a craft brush from Michaels, and it just happens to be one that I really, really like. And this paint is going on very, very smoothly. But I do think I'm going to go ahead and give it a good two coats. And now I'm going over it with the roller. This is going on very smoothly and I'm getting into the two sides have been done already. And now I'm going to go over the front edges, make sure that those are nicely covered. And this is very forgiving. I'm not seeing brush marks in this. This is really nice. So I'm going to do the top real quick. And then we're gonna let this dry for, the directions say a minimum of two hours before a second coat or a finished coat. So I'm gonna follow their directions and we will wait and see how it goes. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and do my doors and drawer fronts. And you see what I mean by it being very fluid, but it's not, um, it's not runny and it just goes on so smoothly. I'm gonna do four doors and four drawers. We'll let those sit for a couple of hours and then we'll go in and repaint everything one more time. Time for coat number two. Now that I've got the doors and drawers with their first coat, it's been two hours, which is what they said, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the second coat on here. We're gonna let that dry sand anything that feels uh, like it might need to be uh, smoothed out a little bit, which I don't think there is anything. Then after that, we're gonna wax it. And I think you're gonna be really surprised as to how it's gonna look because I'm using a dark wax over this. So this is gonna have a totally different look to it once we get done. Then I have to buy new hardware. We're gonna get started. What I didn't show you was how to sand or how I sanded my pieces. Now, 
I couldn't find one of one of my doors off the buffet. So my husband and I went on a hunt last night. I have no idea how it got down here back in my storage room, but we did find it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I sanded my uh, buffet and the doors and drawer fronts. Now I use an orbital sander. Um, not sure what the grit is on the sandpaper. It doesn't do anything rough. Then I'm going to follow it up with a little black sander and I'll try to find out what that is too. It's all worn out so I'm not quite sure but I want to say really I only did like a 220 just enough to just get just the shine off. If you can see this look at the shine. Now I've never had to sand anything before but um, this is a different paint than what I've used, uh, in the past. So I want to be able to follow their directions and I just thought maybe it'd be better to do. So come on over here. I'm going to get out the orbital sander and I'll get out my little pad sander. We'll get this one finished and then we'll get it painted. Once I get two coats on this, I'm going to check everything and see if I need to do any sanding on it. And after that, we're going to go ahead and follow it up with the wax and we'll be finished other than trying to find some new hardware for it. So come on over here with me, we'll get started. Okay, I am using a little DeWalt uh, hand sander and this is a little orbital. So this goes round and round. Now I'm able to do the flat surfaces easily and then I was able to just kind of tip it in and grab a lot of that extra surface here and also on the edge here. So this did a really good job. Is it normally what you would use? Probably not, but it worked very well for all of my pieces. Then I followed it up with a little um, spongy type of a black, uh, sanding black. And this here is a 220 grit. So this one, it doesn't say does have a nice dust bag on it. And the nice thing is in here, I'm really not surrounded by a lot of um, things I need to worry about if there were some dust in the air. All I really have to do is vacuum. So not the place that you would do all of this normally, but I really don't have any other place to do this in the new house. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and we'll get this finished and then we'll go over and paint it. That did a great job. Now what I'm going to do is follow it up with just my little sanding pad and then we'll get this wiped off really nice um, with a clean cloth and then um, I'll go back over it again with like a microfiber which will help pick everything else up. So I'm just going to get into these little areas here that the sander couldn't get into. pretty good now. All right, now we're going to go back over to the table. We're going to get it all dusted off and then we'll go ahead and get this painted. First thing I'm going to use is something that is from what's called bag of rags and I'm just going to take off any of the excess dirt or dust. Go 
the last thing you want is little bits of dust in your piece when you're done. All that hard work that you did now looks terrible. The other nice thing that I have noticed so far is that with this being such a nice fluid paint, I am not seeing any brush marks or roller marks in the pieces that I've already done. Okay, let me grab my microfiber. These are great for picking up dust off of just about anything. I've used them to actually dust in my house, use them to wipe off my windshield and my car. All right, now I'm gonna make sure that this is free of debris. Okay, I'm gonna set this up on a couple of cans of paint so that I can get the edges. And I'm gonna grab my paint and my brush and my roller. Probably will not be using the roller for this, just the brush. And a great way to store your paint and brushes and rollers when you need to just quit for a little while is putting something like this into like a Walmart bag. And then I put my brushes and my rollers and everything into a Ziploc bag. That keeps everything um, from drying out. All of the doors and drawer fronts are really super smooth. I am very surprised. Now, I could take a little sanding block over these if I wanted to, but there is no reason to take any extra time. They look great. Okay, we're going to start with the drawer front here. And I'm going to find a cloth. I think I'll use one of my rag, bag, and a, bag of rags. Alrighty, here goes nothing. See how it's changing the color of this gray? This is closer to what I was hoping for. Beautiful. Now this is supposed to dry for about 15 minutes or so, depending on what the temperature in the room is and humidity and all that kind of stuff. I'll get this coated really nice. Try to get all of it. And I don't want to be buffing it off as we go. I want to let this sit and uh, soak in. Okay. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is very pretty. how dark that looks now. I'm going to let that sit and dry. I will grab another drawer front and we'll get that one done as well.
It's been about 15 minutes and I can just feel a tiny bit of tug. Very smooth here. This feels finished, um, dry, but I can feel a little tug over here. So we're gonna go ahead and wait a couple more minutes. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually coat it a second time. I'm not gonna buff it right away, but I'm gonna go ahead and coat it another time and see if I can get this to be darker. I'm looking for more of a dark antique looking color. So we'll just hang on for a few more minutes. Okay, I went ahead and grabbed one of the drawer fronts, or one of the drawers, and I'm gonna go ahead and give it a second coat. I'm not sure that I'm seeing anything, but as far as anything getting darker, We're going to have some fun.